Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how do we validate the text field. I'll be taking a very simple example so that it gets easy to understand and the same concept can be applied to any complex situation in projects. So I'll create a new project which is single view app and give the name as text field validation test and create it. I'll first go add the text field and also add a label. So this label is basically going to display an error message as and when the text is typed into the text field. So let me just expand it a little bit and very quickly add the constraints so that this stays fit in whatever device it is being run. And missing constraints done. So I'll also change the uh, you know the color of this label since this will be an error label. I will probably give it a red color, and I'll just remove the text and I'll make the number of lines as zero so that it grows according to the error message. Now, I would also like to create an uh, outlet for my uh, text field and label because I've got some things, a uh, few things to be done on the code side. So you go text field and then another outlet for my error label. I'll name it as error label done. Let's get into code now and so what I intend to do here is you would have seen in many projects or applications where the error message is displayed as and when the user types. It does not happen, you know, when user types everything and then clicks on the button. It doesn't happen at that time as and when the user types the error message is getting displayed. So we'll see how this can be done. So what I'll do is I'll create an objective C function which will be called as a selector func check and display error which will take the text field as an input argument so I'll, I'll take a very simple example to uh, I'll just say if the length is like lesser than six characters then it should display an error message if it is greater than six characters it shouldn't display so okay so if text field dot text dot count is greater than or equal to 6 then uh, label error label dot text is equal to enter more than 6 characters if this is not the case then print oh, sorry error label dot text should be nothing so I just give an empty string so this 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 is the syntax that if uh, you know this is an optional value so I'll have to give a default value if this if it doesn't exist so I'll just say zero fine now this is what I should do I should add the target from a text field which will be in self and the target is this method check and display error for text field for events editing changed that is all we are almost done so when i say this the text field whenever the editing in the text field whenever the editing changes this target will get called so ideally this method will get called and the check will be made and action will be taken accordingly so I'll run this and see what happens. So this is a very simple example, but we can make more complex uh, check in this uh, method. Like in, you know, we can check if the email is in proper format or we can check uh, as we want. We can you know change the logic according to what we need. So let me check. So I start typing. Okay, this should have been lesser than or equal to 6. So that's a blunder. So if it is lesser than or equal to 6, then it has to say enter more than 6 characters. If it is greater than 6, then it has to just say it's like just keep quiet. So I start entering because it is lesser than 6 characters. It tells enter more characters. 
so i enter more characters and then the error message goes so it is very dynamic this happens as in when i type you can like check that out so th this the logic here can be modified accordingly we can check for the presence of any uh, uh, special characters the number of uh, alphabets the number of numbers uh, and and so on this is this tutorial is to give just the basic idea of how we can you know listen to the changes that is happening in the text field and enter the error message on immediate basis hope this has helped and do not forget to subscribe thanks